What's good, y'all? We back. We're gonna both each answer the questions. We're gonna go back and forth, but like I said, it's the best friend challenge, so basically just answering questions. You know the deal. Answer. Whatever, so we're just gonna do a question year challenge. Let's head it! Alrighty, so what's your biggest fear? You want me to go first? God. I feel like, oh, I feel, honestly, that makes sense. That makes sense. My biggest fear, <sighs> my dreams not coming true. But they will, so you don't have to fear it. But that's what scares me the most. It's like, or ever being homeless. Like something like that. Like yeah. going down, down, yeah. Like that's rock bottom? Yeah. yeah. What's your love language? What's that mean? Like physical touch, oh. words of affirmation. Wait, like, what? Like from somebody else? Or just like me like, to if somebody. If you were with somebody, what would be what would you want from them? For like love? Like a show Yeah, like love? do you want like I guess physical touch, yeah, probably. Physical touch. Yeah. Uh, I agree. I like physical touch. I feel like or attention. Like hugs and stuff. Like I don't know. Like it's something about that just Or I feel like just like slight like um like slight touches. Even when like you're driving and somebody like puts your you know, the hand oh, on the thigh okay. or like just holding your hand right. Like little like gestures. Or like putting their hand behind your back like that, stuff so, little stuff like that. Uh -huh. Hmm. Love's in the air. <laughs> okay, what's your all-time favorite memory? Oh, I got one. You can go then. The prank we did on Miracle <laughs> when we drew on her paper and she spit out. The if you guys want to see that, that'll be at the end of the video. If you guys want to see it, we'll be at the end. <laughs> oh, wait, we'll right. put a timestamp. <laughs> I'm gonna just hit it with the icicle. There was a time when we were with this girl and we were in this apartment complex and she dropped a damn icicle on somebody's car and they were in the truck or they were in their car. I was coming back up there, she goes, run. And she was chasing us throughout the building because like that girl did something to her car and we were like running from her in a snowstorm. Jamie jumps into a snow pile, it was so funny. When have you felt the most proud? I would say honestly picking up books because I used to be the type of person who hates books. Like in high school, when they said you're gonna read this book, I didn't. I looked yeah. up the answers. Yeah, that books, that summary stuff. Chapter yeah, summaries. but now I actually notes. read for like fulfillment or like knowledge or like just something to like heal myself or just connect with. So. I'd probably say like being consistent in the gym because at first, when I first started, it's like you don't really see progress. Losing weight. Yeah, like losing weight and stuff, and then you're like, oh damn, like I actually see like how this is working. Mm -hmm. And it makes you feel good, especially when you're consistent on eating right and working out. One, One two, three. three. Oh. Oh. No! <laughs> okay. <laughs> have you ever been bullied? <sighs> I'm gonna go ahead and say I have. Middle and high school. I'm not gonna say I've been bully but there's people like people have said some like rude mean remarks. stuff to me that made me like feel sad or like insecure people that's how they feel but um do you have any regrets and if so what are they the first straightening yeah. my hair and perming it <laughs> but i mean that I, quit. yeah but i had to low-key go through it to get to where i needed to be so in a way it taught me more because if i didn't realize the damages that it actually caused long term i would have like, I wouldn't have had the acknowledgement of the damage that it truly does. Or the lesson learned, I guess. Yeah, so you, you did learn something valuable, so yeah. I wouldn't say you. Eh, it could be, though. But I'm just saying, like, if I knew what I knew now and could turn back time to, like, not do it, my hair would be so long. I don't like to live my life with regrets, but, like, huh. I would just say it's even current, too, eating so bad. Like, that's my biggest regret. Shut up, Brad! I got it today! Which <laughs> celebrity would you want as your other best friend and why? Oh, oh, I probably said my favorite YouTuber, my fam. Because she's like, like, she's like, has like subscribers and has like clout, but she's not like clout, clout. She's actually genuinely like a cool person, so. Can you be Megan Thee Stallion? Really? I was yeah. gonna say her, but. I feel just like because I wild. feel like she would just be fun. Like, she would be a fun, like, go She'd have you drunk off the deuce in. And like, sh like I kind of like to dance around and like be fun like that. Yeah. So I feel like she'd be like, okay, like I like that. Like, yeah, she guessed you up though. She would. So yeah, and she's very like supportive too. And she's mm -hmm. like supposed to college. Like she's smart. Like yeah. you know, she has stuff going for herself. Out of all your family members, who are you the closest to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't take it personal. Yeah, don't take it personal. Like key one. Sorry, babe. Mm -hmm. So it's like yeah. So my. 
older brother, Keelan. He knows who he is. He watching. Y'all seen him in the cut for the Houston vlog. Honestly, yeah, I would say my mom just because like, I don't know, but definitely my mom. Um, what's one thing most people don't know about you? It'd probably be like, especially if you knew me like in high school or whatever. I feel like I've just changed a lot. Like I'm not really, I'm not the same person that I was in mm -hmm. high school. Yeah. So, I mean the funny and like, like friendly, yeah, but like, I don't know, just the ways that I think and stuff is definitely different my motivation in life. Yeah. Um, honestly, I could probably say the same thing then. Maybe. Because I feel like one thing, like a lot of people, especially from like in New Hampshire, like people don't know how mature I've gotten. Mm -hmm. Like, I used to be the very immature, goofy, weirdo. No, and I feel like one thing about you is you've gotten a lot stronger. I was like, just used to let people kind of like walk yeah, along. Yeah, I would really let that bother me. Yeah. For like, she's really come down to a point where it's like, if you're not benefiting me and you're just rude and mean, yeah, you're not gonna be sticking around, my love. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think happens when we die? I already know what I think. Okay, so I'm between both, and the first one is, okay, go to heaven, or the other one, you just die, and it's kind of like being birthed. That's it? Like, yeah. Like, that's what I don't know. Like, is there a heaven? Or is there just a God with no heaven? Like, what if God just like... Like, I don't know. And if any of you guys, I just want to say, if any of you guys, like, want to give your feedback to some of these questions, even something like that, feel free to, like, put it down in the comments. And, like, even other questions. We can answer like, the questions, too. We'll definitely chat it up in there. But me, I pretty much think, like, Pretty much the end of the world's gonna happen, the rapture's gonna happen, and all of our souls are gonna go up to heaven if you're a God believer. And your eyes will turn blue and all that. Maybe that, I don't know about the eyes turning blue, I don't know the specifics like that, that was just a movie. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I could get deep in that one, but I don't wanna wake you guys up yet. So. <laughs> if you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? Um, To get this booty fatter. Nothing. Amen. I would say nothing. I'm just enhancing. Mm -hmm. Not changing, just enhancing. Chain leaving soulmates. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I feel like you can have friends soulmates, family soulmates, yeah. love soulmates. I'm like, I feel like yes, mm -hmm. but at the same time no. Cause sometimes you, Why can, no? you can make a person your soulmate. So I feel like it doesn't just show up. I feel like you can like kind of make someone adjust to you. I disagree. Said Like I kind of, I kind of see it like soulmates. Yeah. But then I like, I'm like. you can't. Cause people pick up on who you who you are, and then you end up connecting. Yeah. What's the last lie that you told? <laughs> oh my gosh, to my dad. I told him I registered for college, but I didn't. You but did I did it? No, kind. I mean, I'm gonna do it today. But I already told him like two days ago that I already did. Oh. But I did, Dad. So don't worry. Like I did sign up. It was for that. like a little fib then. Yeah. But she ended up doing. It. I did end up doing it. But so I, didn't. I don't know if it's really a lie, but I mean, I've kind of like. Like ask people questions that I already would have known the answer. Like I kind of would have already known they're lying, but I asked them it just to see if they're being honest. So in a way, I kind of lied because like I pretended like I didn't know, but I already knew. Yeah. So I guess that's a lie. I had done that. We'll take it. What's the best compliment you've ever received? Mm, I'd probably say the girl that I met at Best Pro Shop. She was just like saying. She said I was really beautiful and that my spirits were very mm. high. She liked my spirits. Mm. I feel like that, that's a top tier compliment with someone compliments like your energy. Yeah. Some people be like, Jay, you're so beautiful. I don't know. People have said that I look like I'm Puerto Rican. Maybe that's the compliment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll take it. The Puerto Ricans. They went in. I'm not claiming I'm Puerto Rican, but. A different ethnicity or whatever? Yeah. I mean, beautiful. What are the top three things that stress you out? I don't let stress get to me. Who I do? Hey, number one is money. <laughs> Getting money. Making money. Maintaining money. Having money. <laughs> Probably like temptations is one. Um, and that's like kind of like with eating, not good. Um, managing money. Um, and then consistency. Because then it like crunches your time up. Yeah, and then it's like you feel you have so much weighing on you because it's like, oh, I was supposed to post this this time yeah. and I didn't, so. I would just say mm, overall top one, two, and three months. What's something you'd consider unforgivable? I know you're supposed to forgive one, but like, put that to the side for a second. I think probably if somebody like cheated on me, I guess. Oh. Like I would forgive you, but like I would just lo lose complete and all respect for you. 
run in your mouth about my business. My personal business. Yeah. If you're out there putting my private business. private life. Yeah, then I would um, um say if a female knew I was with someone and they still proceeded to be sneaky and do stuff with my mans. That I can't forgive you for, but I will just so I go to heaven because I ain't doing that. Forgive <laughs> you for a little bit, but then I'll forgive you. I'm just not going to tell you I forgive you because you don't need to know that. Mm -hmm. It's internal. Mm -hmm. It's suspense. Mm -hmm. Have you ever experienced a friendship breakup and what did it teach you? Mm -hmm. I would say I have. I'm not going to say names, but there's this one girl. That, like, like making me feel bad basically for not knowing how to help her. Um, I don't know. I don't want to say. I mean, I've definitely like lost friends but I don't want to say it's been to the point where it's like made me sad like breakup I think mm -hmm. I've gotten to a fight with like my closest friends and yeah, that will feel like that feel like a breakup yeah that would feel like sad especially in the moment but I usually if I'm really close to you and we end up fighting I usually end up one we end up becoming friends again because we right. resolve it but I've never really had like a big big like me and this person aren't friends anymore to move forward in yeah. life and you kind of move down with your life and you're like doing adult stuff now so it's like i don't have time for the kids stuff okay no stuff how can i be a better friend to you i think the complaining you complain less mm -hmm. i do because it's like that aura of like yeah. always constantly hearing something and like when you're trying to always be appreciative of life yeah, and what you like, have it's like definitely like bro sh shut up it's going to get a lot to, to be happy for i would say just checking up on me more mm -hmm. like because i feel like i do go through a lot and i don't voice it enough which is also kind of a me problem no but you like keep it to yourself because you don't want to be a bother to other people yeah i feel like that's, that's true and me sometimes I'll, I'll be so just like in my own zone that i won't even like not i don't want to say not care but like not pick up on yeah. especially if you're in like your room and i'm just doing my own thing and i'm in my room all day it's like I won't take the time to acknowledge because I'm like, oh, I'm doing my own thing. Mm -hmm. So, well, if you had to describe yourself in only three words, what would you choose, and what words do you think your friends would choose to describe you? I think for me to describe myself, I would say non-judgmental, um, caring, and peaceful. I would say I'm caring. I'm very passionate. Goofy. Three things I would describe you as, like three words. I would say spiritual. I would say understanding, respectful. Okay. J Bay, I would probably say, I'd say like open for anything. Meaning, if I was someone like to talk to you, no, like if I was wanting to talk to you oh, like about something, yeah, you would like definitely be there to like listen even if, especially something personal yeah or like if something i'm really sad through you would definitely be willing and wanting to like listen and actually care to listen um so a listener i guess yeah i think strong period even though she be saying she not but you are very strong that's like low-key like i feel like i don't even know kind of like i don't want to say my opposite but like my opposite but the same Cause like even how we'll make jokes, but we'll like, I don't know. We've been together for so long that we'll know each other's like jokes, or we'll say the right. same. So it's like we're both opposite people, but at the same time we're like low key kind of like we have same. our ways that we connect very well, mm -hmm. and like people want to understand it. Yeah. Now if y'all made it to the end, miracle. <laughs> Shut up. But 
yeah if you guys made it to the end of the video thank you for watching we'll see you guys two weeks from today um again shout out to that person that recommended a video and again if you guys want to answer to any of these questions that we asked each other feel free we'll definitely read them and like respond like i even if it's like two weeks later we def i'll read it and respond that's it follow us on all socials subscribe like the video the description below um so we'll see you guys in two weeks okay peace, peace love and pixie dust <laughs>